Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Christa Smith, actor, stuntwoman, speaker, educator. Today I have a very special tutorial for you. We're doing aerial cartwheels and they look like this. Let's go. Now before we go anywhere, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that little red button down below. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you liked about this video. And make sure you hit the little bell icon so that you know when I post new videos for you. Now to do an aerial cartwheel, your prerequisite skill is a very solid cartwheel. That means being able to do a cartwheel without really thinking about it, you're super comfortable, you can split your legs pretty far and have straight legs. If you can't do that, that's okay. Spend a little bit of time on your cartwheels on both sides so that you can come back to this aerial cartwheel tutorial when you're ready. I will also like to mention that you need to stretch before you do this. This isn't something you just wake up and do when you roll out of bed. So make sure you stretch, make sure you warm up, and make sure you can do cartwheels. Okay, step one of our aerial cartwheel is talking about bringing your chest down to the floor. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set myself up in my hurdle lunge. So I'm showing you my aerial on the right side, so that means I have my right leg forward, left leg is back, nice and long and low, and we're using this position because this is where I'm gonna be launching from. This is my jump, I'm jumping off my right leg. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take your chest, nice and tall here, and you wanna drop it towards your thigh and look at the floor, and that's because you wanna be able to get your chest down so that your legs can come up and over. So I'm gonna take my chest, drop it to the floor, and then I'm looking at the floor just in front of my foot, and then I can come back up. So chest up, chest down, look at the floor, come back up. So that's step one of your aerial cartwheel, get your chest down. Step two of our aerial is adding the arm swing to the chest drop. So you're gonna stay in the same position, right leg forward. If you like to cartwheel on the left, feel free to put your left leg forward. In my hurdle lunge, this time I'm gonna bring my arms by my ears. This is me jumping and landing. I'm about to go into my aerial, and as I bring my chest down, I'm gonna slide my arms back into a low V. This is where I'm creating lift in my jump. This is what's gonna get me out of the floor. A nice, strong arm swing. So make sure you keep your arms nice and straight, close to your hips at the back, and that's happening as you're dropping your chest. You start arms up, swing back, come back up to arms up. That's very important. Arms by your ears, swing back, arms back up. Step two is to swing your arms. Okay, we are moving on to step three of our aerial cartwheel and we're gonna start kicking our back leg. And this is where having a little bit of flexibility in your hamstring is gonna be really helpful for you and this is why I asked you to warm up first. Now kicking your back leg is what motivates you over in your aerial. The good thing is, is you actually already do it in your cartwheel. We're just adding a few more elements like dropping your chest and swinging your arms to add a little bit more coordination. So that's why it gets a little bit tricky, but this is a really, really, really important step. And this is a step I want you to drill. Okay, so you're gonna start right leg forward, left leg back, arms up by your ears. We already know that we're gonna drop our chest and swing our arms back. As that's happening, we're gonna kick our back leg up and you're gonna put all of your weight onto your front foot. So. Drop your arms, drop your chest, kick your back leg, and then swing through and stand back up and try not to fall over. Kick, come back up. So it's a little bit of a pendulum happening here, but you wanna make sure that you're really accentuating that kick so that you can get over in your aerial quick enough, because you can't do your aerial slow. You wanna make sure that you have enough whip and torque to get you over to the other side. One more time, chest down, arms back, kick your leg, Stand back up. Step three, kick your back leg. Okay, step four of our aerial cartwheel. We're gonna start jumping. This is the hardest part. If you're practicing aerials for the first time, getting out of the floor and high enough to get over without your hands is where you're gonna spend most of your time. So we're gonna break it down. We're gonna use all three steps that we've already done. So I'm in my nice big lunge, arms by my ears, I'm gonna drop my chest, swing my arms, kick my back leg, and then as I'm reaching that peak position of my arms swinging back, my chest is down, my leg is up, I'm gonna push off my front leg. In my case, it's the right leg, and what I'm doing is I'm pushing off that leg straight up, and then I'm gonna use my toes to point so that I get a little push out of my calves as well, and then I'm gonna land on that same foot, step back into my lunge. So it looks like this. Arms up, chest down, kick, 
jump, stand back up. Down, jump, stand back up. And what you're getting used to is jumping in this sort of extended position, but also jumping when your face is at the floor. That's the scariest part about the aerial, is just learning how to jump and when to jump. Arms up, chest down, jump, stand back up. Jump, stand back up. And really make sure you control the jump when you land so that you're practicing landing with stability and control. So step four, jump. Now that we've learned the mechanics of how to do the aerial cartwheel, we're gonna add that back into our regular cartwheel. And what we're gonna do specifically is what's called a flying cartwheel. That means we're gonna add the arm swing and the jump into your cartwheel. So it looks like this. So you're gonna start in your lunge. I'm using my right leg, as I already mentioned. My arms are up. I'm gonna drop my chest. I'm gonna swing my arms back. And that's when I'm gonna start my cartwheel, just by kicking that back leg. You already know how to do that. But what's gonna happen is I'm gonna jump, and as I'm jumping, I'm gonna finish my cartwheel. My arms are gonna swing back and around. So think down, up to the ceiling, down in front, and then I put them down for my regular cartwheel. You can practice without a jump first, just going swing, cartwheel, stand up with control. And then as you become more comfortable with that, as you're dropping your chest and swinging your arms, then you can start adding the jump in at the same time. What's scary about this is you're going down for your cartwheel and you're jumping and your hands are back here. But that's where your aerial cartwheel happens. You have to get used to that. So start slow. Start without a jump. Just doing circle and down. Then when you're ready, you can start jumping as high as you can. Here to there. That is the best preparation for your aerial. The last progression we're gonna work on for our aerial cartwheel is just talking about how we're gonna land. And I'm gonna show you what's called a pop cartwheel. So basically you're gonna go into your cartwheel normally, and then at the end when you're in the middle of your split and your arms are here, you're just gonna give a little pop with your shoulders. So think going shoulders down, shoulders up, and that's gonna give you a little bit of height to start landing without your hands on the ground. So I'm gonna start my cartwheel exactly the same thing. When I get to the middle, I'm gonna give myself a little pop and then land without any hands. Like that. All right, we've made it all the way to our aerial cartwheel. Hopefully you've gone through all of those mechanics that I laid out before. You practiced your flying cartwheel and you practiced your pop-up cartwheel. If you've done all that, you're pretty much ready to go to do your aerial. Now it's just a matter of repetition getting your hands off the floor and jumping high. I wanna set myself up just like I did with my other elements in my nice long hurdle, arms up. Everything is going down and kicking at once. And then I'm just jumping and I'm just going fast enough and splitting enough in my cartwheel so that I don't have to wait in the middle and put my hands down. So the faster you go, the easier it's gonna be. Swing, stand up. Starting here, Step one, chest down. Step two, arms back. Step three, kick your back leg. Step four, jumping off your front leg. Nice big split, fast cartwheel, and that's gonna get you on the other side. Here, cartwheel, and around. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do is follow those mechanics. So if you feel that your aerial is regressing, go back to the mechanics. Drill those, that's why they're there. Then come back to the aerial. It's all about putting it into your body, letting your body figure it out, and then you just go. So that's it for this aerial cartwheel tutorial. Please make sure that you warm up and can do cartwheels before you start this. That's a bad idea if you don't do that. And now before you go, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's a big red button. Leave me a like and a comment. Tell me what you liked about this video and make sure you hit the little bell icon so you can see when I upload new videos. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Rolling? Wait, sure my boobs aren't popping out. Okay, we're moving on. I'm spitting cookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Please make sure that you warm up and can do cartwheels before that. All right. I can stop talking.
We can go.